Well, we're back a lot quicker than expected. I think Ferenc Varos just lost their last game. Um, oh, against the team that we're playing tonight? What is going on with that sidebar? Let's have a look at the schedule. Oh, uh, tonight. It's, it's this afternoon, Curtis. 31st of March, 2029. Yep, big loss there. I got the mathematics from the people in the Discord call. Let's just uh, make sure. 33 games. That is ooh, an extra 7. So there is 21 points available. There's 20 between us. Yeah, that the, the mathematics hold up. Okay, so it's uh, the, Bre the Brecheny the Brecheny VSC against Voshosh. Go on, Voshosh. Straight on it, no problems. This is this has been a bridge season, hasn't it? Nothing really happening here. Uh, just want to stay domestically strong and uh, go again next season because it, it, there's been slight disappointments in Europe, but sometimes you can't have it your own way. Just want to get oh. Someone was definitely offside. I think Gamara was offside. Correct. I've just seen it on the commentary. Um, yeah, sometimes you just can't get I can't have it your own way. And especially in these building years. Yes, Gamara, go on. Diego Gamara gets his ninth goal of the season. I think that takes us one step closer to the league. We're already qualified for the Conference League, I think. I think that is an EC2. Because unless that is Europa. Nah, I think that'd be Conference. Stats are looking good. You know, I don't need to say anything. They, they know absolutely what to do. They know the jobs inside out. Half time. Could be a quick one. I'll try and fill it in with something. Get some get some match facts in there. Try and extend this to ten minutes. I might not need ten minutes, that's the thing. I might just even play another game. We're in that we're in that comfy zone now that we're definitely gonna dominate in Hungary for a long, long time. Like, even if the other teams improved, they've got so far to catch up. Like, we've just we've just got out the traps. We like Usain Bolt, that shit. Um, Zmurhal, Zmurhal, great save. Uh, yeah, we, we're, we're well got at this point. So, we're comfortable. We're going to be good domestically. And we can just concentrate on Europe. But of course, if if one season is a disappointment, we can always fall back on watching some domestic games to fill in the season, like we're doing this time around. I do want to qualify out of a Champions League group next season. There's the goal. Second, It'll be second place. I will never top of the group. There's no chance. But we could just squeeze in if we've got some luck. If we don't get the luck, I mean... Being fourth in a group is it won't fly with me two years in a row. There's the OTP Bank League. If it was European Europa League qualification through third place in the Champions League group stage, I think I'm okay with that. We get to lift the trophy. Domination in Hungary, absolute domination. Remember, we won, didn't we win the league in the third season? Like that is some incredible achievement for a second tier Hungarian team. We blitzed this league. I think Ferenc Varos then won the the season afterwards, but since then, we got a cartwheel from one of the goalkeepers. Since then, we have just been all over this. Let's take a look. Um, take a look at the history. Club info. I'd rather just go uh, Bank League. Yeah, so Vashesh, Ferenc, Varish. That is our fifth title in a row. 
and our sixth title since being at Vashash. Uh, might even class that second division. Did we win the second division? Doesn't look like it. it unless it was this. Vashash. Sorry, trying to navigate the menus again. No, we didn't win it. We must have we must have come up as second place. That's absolutely fine. Hey, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was uh Debreshny who came up with us. And there we were, beating them by one goal to nil to win the league. Incredible. Alright, so what are we at? We're only at five minutes. So let's have a look at uh, some of the player stats from this season. Now, of course, these are not complete because we're, we're only in March. The player stats so far, well, Dimov has been unbelievable, a, a outstanding up front, getting loads of goals, and I was a bit unsure about signing him up, but at 7.5 million, he's starting to repay that for sure. Alex was the highest average rating. Wheel doesn't look particularly brilliant, but... Plenty of time. He's four, he's four stars now. Got maximum potential. 19 years old. Got the most assists with 20. So all good there. Uh, David Scotto got your best pass completion. A technically uh, gifted central defender. But he's been playing sometimes at right back uh, recently. Most player of the match awards. Another one for Alex. He... Um, I bet his evaluation has shot up uh, through this season. Signed for £7.75 million. Pounds. Um, so actually his valuation has gone down, but you, you've got to understand when they join a Hungarian team, it will go down. I probably will be able to sell him for more than £7.75 million. Pounds, but I won't be wanting to sell him at all. Uh, Mo Scheller cards, loads of um, players here. Kovac, Scotto, Hoyos. Uh, they all got 12 yellow cards. And uh, Cook wanted to uh, be a bit naughty this season and got a couple of sendings off. It's only March, mate. Calm down. Uh, team stats. Well, we've uh, we've been the best at scoring goals. We've been the best at conceding goals. Uh, stopping. Uh, only eight goals have been conceded all, conceded all the way through the season. That is outstanding. Standing, isn't it? The average attendance is 6,094. That's the third best. When is that stadium being done? Got to get my head around that stadium again. Maybe ask for training facilities if we can. Improve the training facilities. Right. Build a new stadium. So it started recently. Is this correct? Our new stadium is going to be complete on the 22nd of June this year. So we'll be jumping into the new stadium or is this blueprints? Do we actually know? Club info, facilities. Do we get it? Oh, God! Have I actually talked to you about this? Oh. So we are currently in the Ilovsky Rudolf Stadion. And we're due to move into... The 9,743 capacity Rudolf Ilovsky Park. They've named the stadium the exact same as the last stadium. They had all the options and they went, actually, no, we'll, we'll give it to the same person. It's not a big upgrade, is it? 6,195 to 9,743. That ain't going to do as much. I don't know what kind of expansion it's going to be. What's the expansion going to be on that? We qualified for the Champions League. Initial budgets up to 10.88 million, which allows us to uh, go for this little gem, this defensive midfielder that we can easily uh, transform into a centre mid. 7.75 million. I think we'll get him for about 4, 4.5 here. Yeah, about 2, 4.2. Yeah, this is this is going to be about 4.5. Oh, a bit more than 4.5 they want. 
4.7. They this what these guys want a little bit for for this absolute gem. Five million for Figueroa. Uh, we've also got Peter Muller. I mean, he's finishing his jokes. That's a joke. And get another scout report on him. Cause I, you know what I don't like with these strikers. I mean, <clears throat> some of the, some of the inklings here is that he's going to be a, a fabulous striker in the future. But what I don't like with these these strikers and why I, I more tend to sway for Yale doubts and that is that they're not gifted all round immediately. Like this guy has no aerials. He probably never had aerials with five foot seven. He's got no speed. Like so, so the guy can't jump and the guy can't sprint. He's just an absolute poacher. It's his best position. Deep line forward, false nine poacher. We'll see what we can do with him. I think we are going to try and uh, make this one happen. Because uh, since I saw him last, I think he's um, I think he's developed. It's going to take a big bid. About £10 million. Pounds. Do I go for this now? I might have to go for this now and then figure out we're a little bit later. Because I know, like, Salzburg might bump up that price really quickly. Whereas the Argentinian teams, Boca Juniors, uh, they usually keep the prices relatively same. I might need to pay an extra 1 million for Figueroa. I will have to pay an extra 5 million, 6 million if we hang about for Muller anymore. In fact, to be fair, one of the bigger teams might be after him. You never know. I get the scout report on Muller. If that's still five stars, probably sign him up. We will see. Uh, there's, there's a few more five stars. We'll get updated reports on them. Is this guy a trialist? Yo, is this guy trialing? But he's at River Plate. River Plate. Argentinian midfielder. 20 determination. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. All good. Vasas manager pleases board with OTP Bank Liga win. Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, one more thing. We got uh, improved training facilities. Let's see if we can get these accepted. Come on. Hey! Right, the death. That's going to cost uh, the club £3.9 million. And I'll leave you there because, look, contract negotiations are boring as all hell. But there you go, uh, Vashash, uh, with the guidance of me, that our sixth league title and our fifth in a row. See you next time. Bye-bye. Where we start uh, season 10. Season 10. Get into double figures.